Hello and welcome to part 1 of my brand new Supreme Royal Ultimate Let's Play and today we're going to be playing on World 2020 as the fantastic nation of Sierra Leone which is quite a hard start uh, we, we have a very low population and we're very poor but we can see what we can do so yeah, an extremely poor nation uh, as very poor infrastructure but as you may know they've got loads of diamonds um, so there'll be a lot of mining a fair bit of agricultural land and other resources but the main thing that's going to hold us back I think is our neighbours like Guinea um, it won't be so bad because we can use their resources, use their manpower um, use their military factories and things like that so yeah, these guys absolutely hate us. These guys love us, um, and most other people just are not that bothered really. And don't think any of them would give us an alliance, which is a shame because I always like to get uh, a few early game alliances. But the first thing we're going to do is get some artillery from the Russians. So when you're playing a poor nation, you definitely want some good artillery on your side especially a poor nation with low manpower because you can just pummel the enemy cities into dust and you can just stand back um, instead of spending your manpower spend a bit of military goods I think it's a small price to pay okay they should say yes and as you can see nobody's really interested in alliance it'd be great to have a major power on our side but everybody's just too indifferent to us So we're going to start producing some artillery. I'll get about 10 of these. Luckily it won't take long to build. And then, though it is a bit cringy, we're going to start spamming, spamming some militia. As you can see, it's, um, it's a pretty weak unit, but I'm mainly going to use it just to protect my artillery. And also we've got some units already. We've got a bit of garrison which has been used. Um, I'll probably leave that in reserve actually because it's just it's just rubbish really. It's even worse than the militia I believe. And then I could probably sell some of these anti-air guns. What will be useful with some of this air force? Yeah it's not not a terrible army for such a little na little nation like this. So I'm going to come back when we've finally um, started producing some artillery and some uh, militia. Okay, so as you can see, we've produced a few artillery units, and we've got uh, a fair bit of militia pumping out all the time. So I think we're ready to get our troops in position. So I'll mobilise. I'm just calling everyone. I'll put my shi uh, ships back, I believe, there. Or well, I'll just get them out of the way. You guys can come over here. And for now, I will send everyone to the border. Right there. So we're going to go for the capital area. I will send some sort of fast-moving skirmisher troops out just to probe this area, see if we can just harass some of these villages. If we can get a foothold in them before they have a chance to build up garrisons in that area. I'll also make sure my villages around here are protected, so yeah, I'll build up a couple garrisons. Especially if um, Liberia uh, wants to invade. Once they've, uh, once they've found out I've declared war on my neighbour, they might not be too happy. Okay, so who are you? Use the Saxon, which is quite a fast unit. It's not very strong, but it is nice and fast. It won't be doing much fighting, hopefully. It'll just be seeing what we can get away with. And I should be able to supply it with our transport aircraft. And you guys can you guys can come along. There we go. Okay. See we got more militia coming in. Right. Hmm. 
Okay, this is the make or break moment. I want my troops set to, yeah, they're set to no um, initiative. Just to stop them from running in there and getting killed. I'll just have to keep a good eye on them. Alright. If you guys move forward slightly, you get to the forefront. And hopefully, they will run in. Oh, I don't want to send my artillery too far into their territory. Otherwise, I won't have a supply. But if I sit them here, they can just smash the enemy units. Without getting overrun. Nice, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now I'm going to see if I can hold on to this. Build up some garrison. Oh, I just need to fight off that guy. We could do with one more militia. When are you finished? One day. See, so, yeah, our units are getting a bit, a bit damaged. Come on. You boys move up. Go on, hit him hard. Okay. Oh, we've held on to this, but it is... Oh, that repaired very quickly. We'll send these guys up, because they're sort of spare at the minute. And we've... Re we've uh, repelled their first sort of onslaught. Which is good. We might be able to secure this town, then. Move up slightly. Oh! That's just a recon unit. And we'll send one of our own recon units up into this village just to probe it, see what we can get. Are oh, they even bombarding us now? It's fine. Ugh. God, this unit's so weak, it's cringy. He's going to get himself killed, or I'm going to get him killed. Get out there. Ugh. Painstaking because every, or no, I reckon I should say, because every unit we lose is quite hard to replace. Speaking of which, yeah, two days until we get another militia. So you can repair. Anyone else need repairing? You can repair as well. And let's start using our air force. Brilliant. Ooh, okay. These guys can come back into the fight. Get in there, son. Nice. Surprising how devastating only a couple aircraft can be, but they damage so easily that they, you can't put them in there for long. Okay, we managed to fight these guys off. So, militia, militia man's still heading up there. Oh, you go up there as well. And we'll make a new front over there. Okay, now you want to secure this. We can only build one garrison there, which is not ideal, but it is a good start. And now we're in bombard range of their capital. They don't have many... I don't think they have any garrison units in there, actually, which is interesting. But that would be pretty foolish just to run in as this is a barracks here and once that's under threat they will um, bring out all their reserve units and just run us down I imagine Let's see if I can get my air force on that if there's any air force left get this guy out of the way come on just die you guys can go home and repair Done your bit. You boys can attack now. Yes, finally. And you can all re go repair as long as there's a garrison in here. No, there's not. You have to stay on. Hopefully that's undefended. Okay, what's it looking like? Nice, we've got them. Um, on the ropes now. Actually, before I send you home, actually, I'll send you home and I'll send my other recon unit to 
try and take that village up there. Yes, undefended. So we'll just sort of cripple their power base if we can. Getting more garrisons as we go. Okay, how are you guys doing? You can come back into the fight. You'd probably be more useful up there, actually. Oh dear. Get our MIG on them. Have we got a garrison here? Yes, we have. Nice. So I'll send this guy home to repair. Oh, North Korea's eliminated. That isn't very interesting. Let's have a look. Oh, so South Korea's taken over. And China... Is China at war? I believe China's at war with um, South Korea. So there's going to be a massive battle along this river soon, I believe. China's at war with everyone. They're Mongolia, Vietnam, Thailand. They normally go to war with India as well. Okay. Oh. oh! I thought we lost a unit then. Okay, these guys are ready to go. So, I'll send these guys up to scout out. That's obviously going to be defended. Oh, is it? Is it not? I mean, it's going to have aircraft in it, but I don't think it's got... Yes, there we go. It doesn't even have aircraft in it. And we'll secure that. Their losses are gain. And what's our manpower looking like? Very low in manpower now. So we're going to have to quickly annex them. Nice. Come on. Wow. I can't believe they haven't defended their cities. This is ridiculous. Okay, you can build this up. And so you, we've displaced their fighters now. I don't actually think they have an airbase in that area. Yeah, just up here now. Oh, stay out of range if you can. And we've got some more militia. Brilliant. So, I might want to start producing some more substantial units now, actually. Because we've got a bit more leeway. Um, how about some more artillery? Because that uses less manpower as well, I believe. Yeah, personnel, 288. And militia is... Yeah, so it's like three times more manpower for a militia unit as opposed to an artillery unit. So you guys go up there. Actually, you chaps can... See if you can take this. Yes, brilliant. We completely caught them off guard by the sounds of it. There's not many. Well, there's not any garrison units really. Just in the capital, I believe. And the barracks here, there'll probably be some. I'm getting a bit cocky now. I might. Hey! And Uzbekistan is eliminated. So we'll look. What's going on here? Oh, China's attacked Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, I should say. It's quite hard to say. Oh, try and take it back. Okay, so that's going to be part one. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, like, comment and subscribe and press the bell. Cheers.